Dirt 5 is the latest installment within the Rally Racing Game series Dirt, and it is time to check it out here on the channel. This game pretty much has everything you could ask for when it comes to your off-road rally racing game. We have a career mode, which we're gonna hop in and check out here in today's video. There is the online option. You can hop in and race with your friends. You can play split screen. You can do multiplayer, all of that good stuff. There is an arcade option, so if you just wanna hop in, have some fun, not worry about your career mode or anything like that, that is is an option as well which is always good it's always good to be able to hop in and just casually play not having to worry about a career or your stats or whatever it may be there are a bunch of user created tracks so there is actually a track creator and you can go ahead and create your own track it's crazy some of these tracks are insane and I actually went ahead I buckled down and I set a world record on one of them I have the quickest lap so I will show you guys that lap at the end of the video but we have people making Making rally cross tracks we have people making tracks that remind me of like those GTA challenge maps where you're just like absolutely flying through the air in a car and stuff like that there are challenge maps and just a ton of content is the simplest way to put it there is so much to do within this game I don't think I could ever get bored playing dirt 5 we of course have the garage I believe I only have two vehicles I'm not even sure what this thing is but it is funky look at those scoop tires man we could get out there and shred some sand that is for sure haha <laughs> no way I also have the Raptor that's what's up just the stock old Raptor clean I'm gonna be honest I got home from work I installed the game and I've only played for about two hours at this point and I am learning new features and new things about the game as I go and I gotta say that is awesome I'm just hyped to be back playing a new game we're gonna hop in and check out the career like I said I am gonna showcase some custom tracks some custom maps and just have some fun in dirt 5 showcase what the game has to offer and let's get in to the video So guys, if the Dirt 5 series is something you would want to see stay here on the channel, make sure to go down there and let me know in the comments below. I really want to be uploading content that you guys want to see and I felt like this would actually be a pretty cool new game, a new variety kind of to throw into the mix here on the channel. Moto is cool and all, but Moto can get boring. So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to keep Dirt 5 around here on the channel and explore what it has to offer. Smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here and let's get into checking out the career mode i'm not sure what we're jumping into but let's listen to this message not only did you enter your details correct this is all about making a name for yourself right yes Yes, I am right. Make a name for yourself, guys. Take on anything that life throws at you. Make your dreams come true. Oppose nothing. Conquer everything. Crush your goals. The Once Company. Check out the link in the description, guys. The merch is available now. The Goon Army merch, it's also there. Another shameless plug. Go check out the merch, guys. I worked super, super hard on it. All the support is greatly, greatly appreciated. Like I said, all of the links are down below. So pretty much it's set up so that we have a choice of events we're not just thrown into one event and stuck doing that one style of event i'm gonna be honest i'm more into like the racing style events jim kahana that kind of stuff it's cool i just suck at drifting suck at doing donuts and yeah my car control is not the best so racing going fast that is more my style so i believe this is the events page and we can come on over to throwdowns and sponsors i'm not even sure what that stuff is well sponsors obviously we want to work towards getting some sponsors code masters is our current sponsor so that's pretty cool it's gonna be a learning process i'm gonna learn what all of this stuff is as i play the game and as i dive into the depths of dirt five so right away we have this ultra cross event and i do believe this was actually the tutorial race oh my goodness it's a ford focus rs you guys don't know how bad i want this car in real life i would do some crazy things to get a car like this in real life i actually did not know that ultra cross is what they call the events that have I guess pavement and dirt thrown into the mix. I guess we're about to find out what Ultra Cross is all about. Here we go, the first race of Dirt 5 here on the channel. I'm pumped. 
So let's hop into it and see what Ultra Cross is actually all about. This might get pretty crazy, but just take in those vibes. This game is truly, truly gorgeous, and I'm sure there are some things I haven't even seen. I can't even imagine that we're going to see it later on in the future. Let's go. First race. Let's see how this goes while recording. We got the AI <laughs> thrown into the mix. We got people going every every which way. We actually have some objectives to try and complete while we are racing, so we can try and focus on those. Jump and trade paint. Drift and get an overtake. That might be pretty hard. That actually might be pretty hard. Let's try it in this corner. Should I just drift around the outside of these guys? Is it gonna work? Oh man, what is up? Drift through this corner and take in those vibes. Oh man. I love it. Just to be back, rather than racing two wheels, we're now racing four wheels. I used to play a ton, a ton of Forza here on the channel. I don't think I ever played much Dirt 3, but I did play a lot of Dirt 3 back in the day. I think I'm just going to go ahead and walk away with this race. Hit the bridge jump. Oh, dude. I'm playing right now with manual shifting and that's pretty much the only setting i've changed so the difficulty and everything is still that's definitely a wall that was definitely straight into a wall so i do think i am going to have to take a little bit and tweak all of the settings and get everything set up to exactly how i like it go ahead and get my controls dialed in and i should be good to just start improving in this game. But like I said before, I've never been an amazing drifter, and I feel like that's a huge part of rally racing, is actually being able to drift, so I guess that can be one thing I throw on my agenda of stuff to learn. Drifting. That should probably be the first thing I learn, am I right? Checking out with this race, I think I'm going to go ahead and bring this one home. I'm not too worried about the objectives, which maybe I should be. You probably do get like bonus money and stuff for actually completing the objectives, so... Should maybe try to get those done, but at this point, it's a little too late. And one thing I really want to work on with this game is actually focusing on the game rather than just the commentary the whole entire time. Like, I want to focus in, put in some good races, I don't want to be crashing into walls. I hit that wall again. I jinxed myself too, didn't I? Right when I mentioned it, I literally crashed into a wall. That's the goon lock. Let's go, taking home that win. But if I put myself in the zone, focus up, and get some good races in the bag just for the gameplay, and the commentary slacks a little bit, that's okay, am I right? I feel like this is the game where you do have to be pretty focused, and if you're not 100% focused, like, corners can come up quick, walls can come out of nowhere, trees can pop out of nowhere. So the level of focus required within this game is definitely pretty high. And that first race, I was bouncing off the walls, going every which way, but staying on the track, that's for sure. And switch up the vibes just like that. Now we are out here in the mountains. This is crazy. I think one thing about this game is it's going to take smooth laps. Smooth laps is key. Smooth lines. You don't want to be crashing into walls and hitting things. If you can keep the flow, the momentum alive, that is going to give you the advantage. I think I need to up the difficulty. I got into the lead super super quick and I'm probably just gonna check out with it gotta do three drifts that is one thing that we have on the objective list I wonder like do I just not drift is that not a drift that is a drift let's go through the tunnel I love it we are now under the mountain going through the mountain we're gonna come out the other side here and I think it's gonna be a hard left holy that got super super bright Imagine driving this road in real life. Oh, we're going straight. <laughs> Let's go. I did not expect that. And now it's raining. Up into the rain here in the mountains. That is sweet. Let's see if I can get a good drift around this corner. Just carrying the momentum. I am just balls to the wall right now. Going as fast as I can. Up this way. 
There are people right here with me too. To say the least, I've been impressed with Dirt 5. Just over two hours played at this point, and I have no complaints. I think I really am just getting started within Dirt 5. Like, the content seems to be endless within this game, and then the career mode... If I remember correctly back to Dirt 3, the career mode was actually pretty lengthy, there was a lot to it. So it is pretty cool to see that, one, there is a career mode, and two, once I beat the career, there are all of the custom tracks that I can hop in and check out. I'm so used to saying custom tracks, but they're not really custom tracks in this game, they're more, you know, custom maps. I'm not sure why my game just froze. I thought I was done for sure. All of a sudden the whole mood has changed. We're like racing into a thunderstorm right now. That is not what I expected. Not what I expected at all. Drift around this corner. Probably should have been down in second gear 92% of the way through this course right now. Is there like a war going on right now? What am I witnessing? I think it's just the mud sounds I'm hearing, but it sounded like gunshots back there. W season, baby, let's go. The one who follows, you know, in the 17th century Scotland. Are you reading off the internet? I would, I would never. No, I can see your phone. Put it away. You're just reading off the internet. Yo, I'm here doing something for my recording. What are these guys talking about right now? <laughs> oh, I love it when a game can actually like throw some humor and stuff into the cutscenes and into the audio, into the dialogue, right? It makes it fun when the game itself is fun all around. I'm not sure how synced up the controller cam is, but I figured why not throw it on for this next race. Yo, look at this Volkswagen. I did not know that this car actually exists. What the heck? So land rush events, we are going pretty much cross country style here. We are sending it across the land, rushing across the land. It's pretty much where the name comes from, right? Pretty self-explanatory. We are in China. That's crazy. We've been to three different countries in three races. Each race has been a different vibe. I love these pink trees. I just want to say that the pink trees of China are actually gorgeous. Couldn't tell you what they're called. So we are pretty much off-roading it at this point through the mud. Definitely not ideal conditions for uh, racing, but we're making it work. And these vehicles, man, this Volkswagen, I gotta say, I wasn't too fond of it when I first saw it, but the truck actually seems to just handle like a dream, so I'm impressed. I think one thing that this game has going for it is the variety. Like, going to three different environments in your first three races. That's crazy. Not many games will do that. They'll just throw you into like one environment to start off. And man, content is key. Variety is key. If you want your players to be hooked, I think we're going to have to, uh, well, one, figure out my recording settings because that seems to be struggling. And two, keep dirt here on the channel have some fun with it explore what it has to offer i think i am just getting started in the wonderful world of dirt 5 i am gonna end it off here finishing off this race in first place honestly i'm just super worried about the recording i think i'm dropping frames and getting lag and stuff like that so i'd rather not put out a bad video for you guys to see at dirt 5 for your first time tons of dirt 5 content to come here in the future guys i just did those three events there to kind of get my feet wet show you guys what the game has to offer and showcase some gameplay for you guys so with that being said like i said at the start of the video if you guys do want to see more dirt five content go down and let me know in the comments below and smash that thumbs up button for me guys it would be greatly appreciated the once company grab your merch guys the link for that is down below in the description if you guys do want to go check out the website fall series stuff is only here for a limited time so get it while it lasts and i'm gonna end off this video with two laps on this custom track this custom tracks is vx05 and it's just a little teaser of what these custom maps have to offer the first lap was pretty clean but it was just shy of the top lap time in the world and the second lap I did actually love tap some walls a few times but I did manage to get the top step of the world leaderboard for this track so enjoy guys I know this has probably been a longer video a chill video a different style video but dirt 5 it's been a ton of fun I've had a blast I hope you guys enjoyed I will catch you in the next one peace out